so today I have a review on three different pairs of G&G circle lenses. I picked up three different ones about a month ago. My boyfriend bought them for me about a month ago. So I've got a pretty good feel on how they've been wearing and how I like them or don't like them. So I just wanted to share my opinion with you guys. I picked up a pair of A21 grays, a pair of GBT blues, and a pair of BT02 green circle lenses. These are all 14 millimeters in diameter. I don't like to go with those bigger ones. I do have one pair of the, what do they call them, the Bambi grays? Is that what they're called? They're 15 and they are way too big. They look creepy on me, so I definitely don't like to go over the 14. However, I've read on other websites, they classify all of these lenses as like 14 and a half or 15, but on Pinky Paradise, they have them all written down as 14. And then on all the vials that I got, they all said 14, but on different websites, I've seen them classified as 14 and a half or 15. So let's start off with the A21 grays. And these actually are my least favorite of the three that I have. The gray ones, they're, they're, pretty uncomfortable. I rated them about a three out of five, maybe even a two and a half out of five. I can really only wear them for about two hours at a time. I can't go to class in them. I go to class on some days for only like three hours a day and I can't even do that. I can't wear them for just those three or four hours that it would require me to go to school in them. So they're super uncomfortable. I really only wear them for like tutorials and stuff. I already have a pair of gray contact lenses that are Geo brand, and they're way more comfortable than these ones are. However, the color on the G&G ones are okay. They're, they're nice. They're a bit lighter than the uh, Geo ones that I have. The Geo ones definitely look more black. These G&G ones have a more gray tone to them. You can actually tell that they are gray. So overall, the color is all right. The comfort is horrible in my opinion. Maybe I just have sensitive eyes. I don't know, but these contacts did not really work out for my eyes as far as comfort level goes. I really don't like these gray ones, but don't worry, I really like the other two. So don't get disappointed just yet. Alright, so next are the GBT Blue Circle Lenses. And I really, really like these ones. The color payoff is awesome. I really wasn't expecting them to be super awesome because I have really dark brown eyes, pretty much black eyes. And I didn't expect the blue to really show up super well, but these ones definitely did. They do look totally unnatural. When you're really, really close up, they look very unnatural. They, it's almost creepy looking. They're pretty creepy when you look at them up close. But from far away, they still look pretty cool. You can tell that they're blue, but it doesn't look so unnatural like uh, when you look at them really close. And the comfort is awesome too. I definitely give them a 5 out of 5 as far as comfort goes. I could wear them for a full day for 8 hours at least. Even though you technically shouldn't wear your circle lenses for that long, I could definitely wear them that long. They're not bothersome at all like a few of the other lenses that I have. So it's really cool because they have awesome color payoff. They're beautiful blue, plus they're really comfortable, so it's a win-win. Now the last ones that I got are the BT02 green contact lenses. And they look like a really lime green in the pictures on Pinky Paradise and all that. But they are kind of a real dark green on my eyes. Like I said, I have really dark brown eyes. But they do show up at least, which is really good. You can tell that they're green, especially out in natural daylight. If I'm out standing outside looking at somebody, my boyfriend was actually like, I can really tell that you're wearing contacts, which is very strange, of course, because guys don't tend to notice anything when it comes to beauty and makeup or contacts, you know, anything like that. But he noticed that I was wearing them and that they actually had some color payoff, so that's always good. So these green ones are really comfortable too. I definitely give them a 5 out of 5. I could wear them just as long as I wear the blue ones. And the color is pretty decent. Not as awesome as the blue ones show up, but they're still pretty cool looking. So overall, those A21 gray ones are super uncomfortable. The color is alright, but... I wouldn't really recommend them. I would definitely recommend those blue ones if you're looking for a little bit cheaper brand. They're only $19.90 or whatever. I think they were under $20 bucks, and they actually have a pretty good color payoff. So if you're looking for something a little cheaper, you might want to go with those GBT blue ones. And then the BT02 greens are also really comfortable and have pretty decent color payoff. It's not super awesome as the, like the blue ones are, but they are really good. So I would definitely recommend the GBTs or the BT02s, but I would not go with the A21s because those gray ones just bug my eyes like crazy. 
So this is just my opinion. I really hope it was helpful. If you guys want to see more pictures or anything like that, go check out my blog post on this. It's at lanamarie91.blogspot.com, and I will definitely leave a link down below. If you have any video suggestions, any comments or anything, don't forget to leave those down below too. Thumbs up this video if you did enjoy it, and I'll talk to you guys really soon. Bye! So the first ones that I purchased are the Geo Princess Mimi Sesame Grays. They are $23.90 on the Pinky Paradise website.